Hi, and welcome to another Land Rover Drive garage video. In this video, we are finally installing the new power steering pump. And the first thing you want to do is to mount the mounting plate. You just want top screw that holds the plate to the power steering pump. When the plate is mounted, you are ready to put in the pump. You need to align these keys on the power steering pump with the water pump, which also have two keys. And this is probably the hardest part about this job, getting it to align and get the pump to enter. Which you're gonna see here, I'm gonna struggle a bit to get it in. After multiple tries, I tried to align the keys again. And this time it looks like it's going in. With the pump in place, we can now put in the screws. The two long ones goes in the bottom and the two short ones goes in the top. To get the long ones to enter, you may need to turn the pump because of the head of the pump getting in the way. I like to fit all the screws all the way around before I start tightening up and I'm sure I can get all the screws in. With all the screws in place, we can start tightening up. With the bolts nice and snug, we can go over with the torque wrench. For this is 25 Newton meters. I recommend starting with the four bolts that are on the each corner of the mounting plate. The top bolt in the center on mine felt like it was going to turn over. That's why I didn't torque it all the way, because I didn't want to ruin the threads. When you've done that, you're ready to connect the pipe to the steering pump. Just slide it in and then tighten up the nut. The feed pipe union nut is a 22 mil and torque settings are 20 newton meters. With the feed pipe in place, the next thing you need to do is to put on the supply hose. Be sure to remember to put the clamp on before you put the hose on. If you're putting on a new hose as well as I am here, the hose can be a bit tight and putting some oil at the end can help a lot. I haven't done this yet and you can see how I struggle to get the hose on. With a little bit of oil on you can see the difference and how easy I can get the hose on. Then it's just tying up the clamp and refitting the pulley wheels. So we are done with the steering pump. So now we need to add the pulley wheel to the steering pump. And uh, the easiest way to see if you're using the old one is that you can see the old markings from the triangle but also when you put it on you can see if it's a new one you can see that it aligns with the other pulley wheels if you put it the wrong way around it will not align quite easy just three bolts
With the bolt in place, we are ready to torque up. I find it easier to torque up when the auxiliary belt is mounted. With the pump in place, we are ready to fill up the reservoir and bleed out the system. But that's gonna be another video, so stay tuned for that. Remember to like the video and to subscribe if you haven't yet. See you in the next one.